Yeah, bro. I don't know, man. I, I think I think I'm a, I'm done with YouTube, bro. I'm going to Rumble. What? <laughs> Just playing. Uh, I'm done to go to Rumble. It's crazy. Well, I mean, it wouldn't it wouldn't be it, it wouldn't I guess wouldn't hurt us, right? To just upload content on on the other. Check us out on Rumble. <laughs> uh, hey, check us out on Kick, bro. What? That, that, that <laughs> other streaming platform that's trying to swoop up Twitch's competition. I thought that is Rumble. Oh, it, it probably is a part of Rumble. Uh huh. I thought that's what it was. Maybe yeah, oh, well, Rumble it. is YouTube's competitor, and Kick is. Twitch's competitor. I thought Rumble was Twitch's or was Kick's platform. So on Kick is the streamer platform. Okay. Rumble is the, the like the YouTuber video like uh, user user upload. I mean, still the same shit. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, uh, like I, that's why that's what I've been noticing with a lot of like the YouTubers that grow a big following on YouTube. Uh, for some reason, because of guidelines, they just not able to monetize. They all head over to Rumble, and it's the same pattern too. When uh, when they do like live streams on Twitch, when they don't follow the Twitch guidelines or they're just not able to make income on there, they just go over to Kick, which is now that new streaming platform that everyone's trying to. It's like everyone's trying to make it like that new thing uh, where streamers like I guess any size, any streamer of any size can now get paid for the amount of hours that they stream for. Uh huh. Uh, it's looking like it's giving a, a lot more better incentives for all newer streaming users. So I think it's real cool. Um, you know, I'm honestly really impressed with YouTube's longevity. <laughs> Why no one else has been a com bigger competitor? You know, and it's crazy how, and especially with it being backed by Google. Like, holy shit. Like, uh, I just can't imagine right now in our lifetime. I mean... YouTube has been around dominantly now for about more than 20 plus years. And there's definitely been a lot of other video websites that that, I, that are still out there. Like, uh, I, I have mentioned the Rumble. That was new, but like Vimeo, yeah, Vimeo was another one. But that was a lot more for like portfolios. That was a lot more like a portfolio driven website for video creators. Not necessarily for content creators, I would say, but... Um. Yeah, dude. YouTube. Uh, YouTube's come a lot. What What are you? What are your first memories of like what YouTube was? Yeah, way. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first impressions of YouTube, dude. I'm fucking that. Dead. Um. Uh, those fools that was how to be a ninja. How to be a ninja. Uh, how to be a ninja or how oh, to be okay. a gangster. No, I remember those foods. Smosh. Remember Smosh? No. Uh, Damn, for reals? Uh -uh. Okay. What do you want our theme song for today to be? Uh, oh, dude, it's an unreleased track for sure. No, nah, something we can post that's up right now. Oh. What do you feel? Oh, for like the story? Uh-huh. God damn it. These are all fucking unreleased. <laughs> <laughs> damn, uh, that's what you're on right now? Unreleased shit? I will, I will, okay. I I think I asked a lot of people for unreleased shit this week and yeah this week but DJ turn it up you think they have it oh for sure yeah for sure you should run that DJ turn it up by immortal <laughs> by DJ turn it up just yeah just look it up and it's, I think it's DJ uh. Oh my god, I'm forgetting. Why am I fucking forgetting, dude? I thought it was Imanu. It's been a long week. Imanu? Not Imanu. No. But just, if you search your DJ, turn it up. Damn it, I'm gonna have to find it on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's that important. It's that important. Oh, Dimension. There you go. God damn. The... That's a nice song. I wish I knew how to spell, bro. It would... <laughs> it would save me a lot of time. Let's go. Those vocals are sampled, right? I don't know, bro. I those are don't know. those are familiar vocals. Like I feel like I've heard those vocals. Maybe before. someone replicated them, bro. But they're hella nice. Super clean. Okay. Cool. That's cool. Yeah, I'm excited for Hard Summer, dude. A lot of people were telling me certain artists to see for drum, drum and bass. And I was like, yeah, I don't know any of these people. So that was good. Like, hopefully I'm put on to new shit. 
uh, hard summer. Mm-hmm. It's all a new, a lot of new artists for you. I want to start doing MC. Yeah, I want to start doing an MCs. Uh, hopefully later this year. Uh, what? Like I want to start like uh like doing MC work like with other people for oh. drum and bass records. Uh, you want to MC? Uh, oh, let me let me uh, rephrase that. <laughs> I want to get uh like an MC on my track. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I, yeah, that could have been interpreted uh, <laughs> way too. I get what you're saying, but uh. No, yeah, I would like to get some MC, some MC uh, work uh, done on some of my <clears throat> German bass tracks, uh, and not really get it from a vocal pack. I've been going through a lot of MCs portfolios that I've seen on other German bass records, and uh, I'm gonna email some of them this week to see if, the, if they're willing to send me any, maybe some audio files that they might have recorded. Uh, preferably, like honestly, if if they could send me something that's already. Uh, that they can record that, that gets in over to me a cappella, uh, or if they rather prefer me that they make an instrumental, I can do that too. I don't mind. Like whatever makes it easier for them to provide me uh some sort of uh something to work with. Like I'm hella down to just yeah. I, I've I've said this like in the repost exchange interview. Like I definitely want to strengthen my collaboration, my collaboration portfolio this upcoming year. Just, just, just in the near future, just do a lot more collaborations. What's it called? Uh, how was that interview, by the way, bro? It went good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was able to talk to Jasmine, who's the head of social there. Uh, she's from the UK. Uh, and yeah, dude. Uh, real, real dope person. Uh, she goes to like a local, uh, like university campus. Uh, and like she does like the podcast there. Like for an hour, like and then after she does the interview, she cuts it up. Uh, there's some of the like what she put up. The she like cut out like the f- portions of our interview because there was a lot of stuff that we talked about, but didn't make it to the interview. So like a, a lot of it's like very cut up. Uh, talked talked about like how I got into music. Um, Damn, they took some <clears throat> shit out. Huh? They took some shit out. Yeah, they didn't put the full interview. They cut up. They cut it up like in certain edits. Uh, that's dope. And yeah, th- I think it was cool. Uh, I was able to like ask her questions about like how it is over there in London. That like like like, like she didn't like like stuff that I would, like because I was getting into podcasting uh mindset as well. So like a lot of stuff that she cut out was stuff that I was asking her. Like that that wasn't really for the you, interview, okay. right? It wasn't like me, right? So like obviously like I I see why she cut that stuff out. It was just more for like me to know about her. Uh-huh. So she didn't really want to have that. She, it was more like more about me that uh, the episode that she uploaded. But yeah, I think it was real cool. Um, you know, Repost is doing their thing. Uh, have a nice system built for like uh, promotion hubs, uh, feedback uh, for marketing your music, making music campaigns. Uh, yeah, everyone go check that out. Uh, sign up. Use my code Husky75. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, no, yeah, hey. Tell me why when I was listening to this shit, oh, well. they were like, and you can use code. I don't even know, bro. I don't Does even know. Does everyone have a referral code? I, well, I don't exchange? know. I actually don't know. But they, she was like, you can use Husky a code Husky seventy five. Yeah, for uh, for like a discount. I'm like, hold up, yo, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell. <laughs> Uh, I didn't try it, but like, yeah, she did like in 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 the middle of it. She was like, yeah, like you could like if you're a new time user, you what could do you use. Get? That's what I'm trying. To <laughs> out. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Well, I mean, the, the promotion is nice. Did you right? ask? I did not ask. So you should always ask. No, that's crazy though. That's crazy. That's cool though. It sounds like it sounds like it was a successful interview. You think? Yeah, I think it went good. Yeah, uh, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, it was nice. To finally uh, do the schedule, uh, do the scheduling with her because we were supposed to do it a month ago, but uh, something got in the way, uh, and then we finally uh, were able to do it. And I'm glad that it came out right away because normally when she uploads those episodes, she does it like a month later. But she had a gap, I guess, in that week, and she was like, "Yeah, and I'm gonna upload the episode on our SoundCloud this following Thursday because we did it on we." And it was interesting because we did the podcast interview. She did it during the day, like in the afternoon. But I, I, I did this at one fifteen a.m. at night. One fifteen a.m. Yeah. So like the scheduling, like oh, okay. this podcast interview, I, because she sent me a link to schedule this interview, and the times were only from one a.m. to four a.m. Pacific time for me. 
Okay. So yeah, I, I had to like I, I was laid up at night uh, waiting for it. not waiting like I was occupying myself with shit. But once that uh, once one one fifteen came around, I clicked on the link and she was in this video server and I joined that with my webcam. And so I'm wondering I'm wondering if she's gonna post like a YouTube, uh, version of this episode, because it's only on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts and Spotify, podcasts and all that. So it's it's, it's cool that it's distributed not only on SoundCloud. It's on Apple Podcasts That's dope. and Spotify Podcasts and um uh, down yeah never thought I'd get an interview through through there and, yeah so I thought it was real cool she uh she liked what she liked my track Galaxy she used that one uh as like one of the highlights for me just that was like, I guess like that was like one of her favorite tracks of of my catalog so I thought that was real cool uh we talked about like why I made that track and. Uh, if you guys want to go check that podcast out, it's up. It's on Repos Exchange. Uh, and if you guys are making music and are not uh, a part of that network, like definitely join and uh, take advantage of all those benefits and features they provide because uh, I like to think it's very helpful. Uh, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Trust me. It doesn't really hurt to utilize all those tools. Husky75, use the code. <laughs> True. God damn it. True. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lose the Temple 75, use the code. Yeah. Splice.com, lose the tempo. Use our code, lose the tempo. Bro, Splice, sponsor me, please. Hey, what's the dream sponsorship for you? Ooh, dream sponsorship? Yeah, have you ever thought about that? Like, for, like, your Zion Don? Like, you know, I would love to be sponsored by Monster. Pepsi. Really? Uh, fuck yeah. Hell yeah, bro. I'd That's, love to get I'll, sponsored by Pepsi. Hey, but are you saying this because do you love Pepsi more than Coca-Cola or just because of the brand? Pepsi owns cola though, right? I don't know how that works. Because Pepsi Co is I don't, like I don't know. I don't know that umbrella, how that umbrella works, right? But uh yeah, okay. Uh, Pepsi? Yes, yeah, so that's your first uh that's just cause cool. the, the logo looks cool as fuck, bro. And then when you think of the nineties, I think of a bunch of like Coke and Pepsi commercials. But when I think of NASCAR, I think <laughs> of a lot of people that have the Pepsi logo on their like Oh, okay. On their shit. And I don't know, I think it looks cool as fuck. And then I think of uh Wayne's World, how they do the whole like, uh, uh have you seen Wayne's World? I, I've seen clips. I I don't think I I'm not gonna say that. I've I don't know if it's whole. Wayne's World one or Wayne's World two. They do this whole like scene, bro. It's crazy because there's just a fucking uh, what's it called? The premise is they basically did a podcast, but they made a TV show, right? About them doing dumb shit at home. First they talk, and then they just do dumb like. Do oh, like they will like come across ideas, and like they'll like. Like just go roll with it, or they're just yeah, like, or they shit. created scenes and shit, and like mm. it was just it was like a sitcom type shit, but like it was in movie form, and then they got signed to like a TV deal, and but they're like kind of like stupid dudes, like you know, mm -hmm. uh, but like they're basically recording for like uh, they're on set, right, and they basically just start stop shooting, so like. The cameras are like, uh, like the whole sets behind them and whatnot, and they're at like the table where they could eat and you know for all the actors and shit, like basically like what's on the writer and whatnot, and it, all it is in the movie it's a bunch of like name brand shit and whatnot, mm. like purposely placed there, and then they're ironically talking about it. He's like, I'm not eating these perfectly good Doritos. And then he takes one bite and like winks and shit. And like he's, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, just for the sponsorship, I would never sell out and just drink this Pepsi. <laughs> and like, you, you feel me? Like, they just like do a bunch of shit like that. But like, Pepsi, dog, like, I, when I think of shit, like, I just think Pepsi. Mm, okay. All right. Let, let's filter it out, shall we? Uh, what, what speaker brand would you like to be sponsored by? Studio studio speaker brand, uh, live I'd be down live speaker. For Rocket to fucking Rocket. Oh, okay. Oh, I like that. I like that brand deal right there. Studio brand. It's just Zion down sponsored by Rocket, dude. That'd be cool. Damn, that's honestly has a nice touch. That'd be cool. I mean, like, bro, <clears throat> I've had the monitors I've been, I have for how long, dog? Like that's crazy. KRK Rocket Five. Now that you're mentioning this, I would love to be Yamaha sponsored. Because I have a pair of Yamaha. I have a pair of Yamaha's, <laughs> but these guys, these like have been like holding me down, bro, for a while and. Well, well like holding you down and uh, oh oh you mean like yeah holding you down yeah yeah, yeah bro like, like that's all I've been using for years. Maybe I should get like better ones just because it's fucking me up. But nah, 
Game, I, like today, bro. You got like, meme eaters. You're, you're, you're game, game eaters exactly. Game changer, dog. <laughs> I got the game changers. Bro, game changer. Oh, hold on. Nah, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Should we? Should, nah, nah. Nah, okay, bro. I'm letting know. everyone know. Mini meters, dog. Step. Like, you, you want to step your game up? Mini. Bro, I, sauce, bro. I guarantee you, dog, as soon as you leave here today, some shit's going down in the studio. Bro, I'm telling you right now, I think after this episode, Mini Meters is going to have a nice uh, sales increase. It's 10 bucks, bro. Uh, <laughs> it's and, 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 no, it's not that much, bro. No, I meant, I meant like a, they're going to have a the sales demo version, bro. Uh, like, if you want to. Like, they have a demo version? They have a demo version. Okay, so, so if like, you want what, to, you get the demo what's, version. What's the, like, what's the... I don't know. I didn't get the demo <laughs> version. But I know they have a demo version. So if you want, just go ahead and get the demo version. Don't even pay for it. You're gonna get the demo. This motherfucker's gonna get the demo version, dog. I already know. Yeah. I mean, no, I'll probably get the full version. If the demo version doesn't work, (laughs) yeah. I know, bro. I know. Of course, bro. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) It's always cool. You're smart. You're smart. You practical. I like it, bro. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, no, for sure. You're you're gonna get the demo version. I'm testing shit out. And then you're gonna hit me up and be like, "Hey, bro, like you didn't need to pay ten bucks." I was oh, just gonna no. end up happening. Uh, it's comedy. But nah, that that I'm telling you, bro, that shit just leveled up my my mixing and like, p- but plus with the knowledge that like I was telling you about earlier, like plus with learning all that shit, like yeah. So mini meters, like just to kind of simplify, like it, it's like a it's a nice wave waveform uh, analyzer visualizer that gives you a lot of these parameters where it shows you LF, LUF meters. Uh, you could. You could change it to it being spectral, uh, waveform. Uh, I mean, you were working more That's, with it. What else were you, did you see that? In it there? just has a bunch of parameters to how you want to look at your track visually. You know, like any type of uh, meter that you'd want to see, that it pretty much has it on there. You can set it to like whatever visual uh, uh, aspect you'd like it, you know. But um, it's just useful because what I used to do is just go into any dj software and look at the waveform there but now i could see the waveform as i'm fucking mixing and mastering that like just like his like i was telling you earlier bro like i can't always trust my ear so looking at the waveform like kind of like help like uh validates what i'm hearing you know like Mm. so now if i'm able to instantly see like what i'm hearing like Makes sense because like I know how to how a good waveform should look like. I know like how like the color should look like and all that you know. Awesome. And also I need to start loading in reference tracks because uh, I I heard that makes a big difference. Mm. Like being able just to understand what a well-y produced track sounds like while you're producing like is gonna make you like. 10 times different like i don't know that's what everyone's saying like it's that's what a lot i was hearing a lot of so i don't know I don't yeah know. i mean i don't think i guess it just doesn't really hurt to just have a track muted uh until you need to turn it on just to kind of a and b it yeah like to like a and, yeah i guess it doesn't really hurt i never i haven't done that but i guess yeah i don't really see uh too much troubling uh in that uh i mean see that sounds smart I mean, if you like a track, if he, if he, especially if it's a track that possesses a mix uh, and a soundscape that you're trying to achieve, uh, I think that is a smart way to go about uh, attacking your mix. Uh, yeah, but uh, but yeah, and then mastering stage, yeah, that's you're on your own after that, <laughs> on your own on that one. Yeah, I was on ten, dude, it's badass. But mini meters, yeah, I definitely recommend. Uh, everyone to check that out. I don't, I don't have it yet, but uh, I just came through. Uh, Zan Don was messing around with it, and I really like it. And it's interesting too. Like, you know, when you said colors, uh, especially when you pulled it up while we were doing uh vocal work uh, on the mics, it's real interesting to see the uh, the uh, frequency, the colors of each frequencies. Uh, the understanding when you how a machine renders particular colors for particular frequencies, like. Yeah, I don't know. If, yeah, you you know that me and you both notice like when we do like low hums, it 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 comes much more warm, like uh red, orange, the waveform. And then when you have it much more high, how my high pitch, a squeal, 
uh, more mid range. Uh, it becomes much more like orange, yellow, and then it goes towards green, and then like the crispy percussions starts getting into like the bluish, uh, yeah, like the like s silver bluish, light blue, blue, and then it, yeah, and then there's been some weird. I don't know if you ever seen the like. There's some weird colors out there. I can't really describe. Like there's there be certain signals and frequencies I come across like when I I don't have mini mirrors but when I would do the Serato shit when I see certain tracks I'm like wow like why is this way from doing this little like why is this color this and you know it's just interesting to see how the analyze uh, the, the the software just uh, renders the color uh, with frequencies it's a, it's just it's such an interesting concept um, but it's really interesting to now be able to see what you're hearing in terms of frequencies. And I think that's real cool about mini meters. Because the, the best you could get it. At least with FL Studio. Is to turn on that waveform. Uh, viewer. On your tracks. But you don't get color. It's just all one color. So you don't, we can't really see the color definition. So when you get mini meters. You're actually able to see. Like okay. like I can see this especially helping out. In the EQing process. Yeah. Like now that I'm really like taking some time to see how I would utilize it like damn no, I'm it's a game I'm changer excited, yeah. Bro. yeah it's a fucking game changer <laughs> that's all I gotta say like literally when you came right now and I started mixing like I was like whoa what the fuck like it literally bro like I think like this is what's gonna set set me over there just a wrap from here on out bro it's a wrap it's a wrap it's a wrap I'm looking forward to it y'all hear that it's a fucking rap. New Zion Don shit coming soon, fam. Um, we'll be dropping that Rockstar track next. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to get the we visualizer. We got a release date on it? Uh, we're, we're still in early June, right? Yeah. Yeah, June 11th. It's 11 now. We're on June uh, 11th. Yeah, probably by the end of the month, for sure. For sure. I just need to get... I'm going to get the Rockstar logo. Well, I want to get the visual uh, a visualizer. Mm -hmm. Having, like, that, like... Uh, the rock, the rock star that uh from GTA, that logo, oh, okay. that R in the yellow. I want to get that like spinning, uh. But I want to see if I get my logo incorporated like inside of it somewhere or something like that. Oh, okay. But it's not gonna be anything like too like crazy or nothing. That's all it's gonna be. Just that oh, word, okay. Spinning. That's what I want to do. So, yeah. Once I, I one, hopefully I can get that right away and then. Should be solid. I'm I, saying... I need to go mix it again though too now. So oh, that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's like I gotta, I gotta for sure mix it again. But it's gonna be, it's a wrap, bro. That that song was, was some shit. All I'm saying is that if you get AI artwork generated, I ain't gonna be mad, bro. It's not a big fucking deal. Nah, bro, I got my guy. You got your guy. I got my guy for, for sure. But like even if, but even if you like thirty bucks, bro. Your guy. Thirty bucks. Damn. Thirty bucks. When when is someone paying too much for artwork? I don't know, bro. Pay like, whatever you want for your artwork. Whatever you think is fair. I feel like there has to be some sort of standard, like no. market price for song artwork. No. Nah. Nah. Because if I'm an artist or like that makes art. Bro, my shit's worth more than what you're even trying to pay for. So, you're lucky I'm giving it to you at this price. Mm. Some people just some people look at it like, "Damn, I'm lucky for you to even want it." So it just all depends on what they work, put their fucking art worth at. You feel me? Like, mm. It's not up to us. Sometimes you know. That is true. Yeah, really not up to us. Artwork, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, facts. Yeah, so. I don't know, bro. It's whatever you want to, you think your artistic, whatever you, your artistic expression is worth to you. I think that's what you should pay. You know, uh, one of these nights I was thinking of, I was just like free thing. I was like, what if I, what if I made an AI generated EP? What do you, like, elaborate. I make an EP, but it's AI generated. What, so you didn't make it? I didn't make it. No, it's an AI, it's a Husky AI generated EP. Oh, that'd be cool. Like, I, I'm very... Com Is like, this going to be dog noises? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I need you to make me a dance music EP with dog sounds. Four tracks. Damn, okay. 
Nah, I wouldn't be like that. But no, uh, like just 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 for the fuck of it, uh, like I was thinking about this, like damn, like, cause I thought about this. Would I support an AI generated project if the shit was sounding good? Like I would try. I would. I would give it a chance. Would you support an AI generated like project? project? Like like. If it sounded good, would I, like would I give it a chance? Like I, I wouldn't like. Good music is good music. Hmm. Right. But but music. That's all. That's it. Bro. Right. Okay. Good music is good music. Right. And we're in this so, industry for good music. Right. Actually, great music. So like, if you think that shit's great music, bro, then. Hey, bro. Yeah, yeah, I got one. Everyone could get one. Right. So it doesn't necessarily. Mean that like an actual human has to be behind it, like as long as it's great music, right? We make EDM. There's a lot of there's a lot People of definitely like trying to like, like AI kind like yeah for sure. No, yeah, we're like we're like musicians look right. at us weird sometimes. Bro. You think so? No, I know so, bro. Like we're, we're like like uh like look at us we're, us like producers. Yeah, people that use just our laptops. Uh, like how? How? In what ways you would you see? Like they don't think we're musicians. Okay, I I could kind of I could kind of feel that vibe. Like oh, you guys don't even know how to play. Like we're not musicians. Anything you don't know how to read music shit. Like but we can't play live anything. That's true. <laughs> that's true. No, but um, DJ. <laughs> no, but but like because we're able. But we're but it's crazy how maybe we're not like musicians like them, but. We have an understanding still. I like to think. Mm-hmm. No, for sure, I understand. You. No, I, I think but that, that's just how some people look at. It. I'm not saying that's how like we should be looking at it or anything like that. I definitely think I'm a musician, like hands down. I could play some chord. Well, personally, I could play some chords on a MIDI keyboard and shit like that, and uh-huh. maybe I could play some chords live. It won't sound great or anything like that, but like even then, like even if I didn't do that, like I'm in music songs. You feel me? Like I know how to arrange. I'm a producer. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like we know how to arrange music together, and that's part of the production pro- process. So, mm-hmm. You know, like we're composers, or like, but and that I don't know, if, like that falls into the musician category. I feel that. So, you know, I was watching a conductor over the weekend, oh, like do at? a show at my work, and dude, that shit fucking tripped me out, dude. I literally saw some fool in a doll. Like yeah. bro, this fool literally fucking. Uh, I was honestly like, I've I've done these type of events in my work, but now like I could definitely now like see the comp, uh, like the, the complex the complexity of conducting like 30, 40 people, like dude, I'm telling you, man, when they were doing these practices, like it's crazy to me how I thought that shit sounded sick as fuck, but when after they did the parts, like the conductor would be like. All right, someone in the brass like this was what started going um, like that one like that one music teacher movie with Miles uh with the drummer and shit uh-huh. Whiplash and he started going Whiplash on these fools. Whiplash. Yeah, you know how he, uh, it's not in that tempo. Uh, you know with you know that drum you know that tempo movie where he's a music teacher and the the guy is he's like trying to learn drums, and the guy's like okay I'm losing you. <laughs> Whiplash. Bro, I don't think it's called Whiplash. I think no? I know. What movie are you talking about? But I don't think it's called Whiplash. Okay. Huh. Drumline? Nah, I don't, that doesn't sound familiar. I'm pretty sure it's Whiplash, but... Okay, no, um, never mind, man. I don't know. No, but yeah, like, it was fucking me up because I thought it sounded fine, but he was able to... He was able to hear, like, something was off in the brass section because it was, like, brass, there was sax, there was a clarinet, there was drums, and... um. I just think that, like... Yeah, he had it, to tell the person to EQ himself, bro. Bro, no, dude. <laughs> dude, dude bro, like, literally, uh, like, he literally had to tell people, like, yeah, brass section, you guys are not quantized. You guys need to, like, st- step in line, like, or, or, like, yeah, pretty much he was not producing, beat, bro. Shit, yeah. But, like, the, the uh, everyone, like, that was a part of the uh, orchestra, like, they're all tracks, bro. They're all tracks. And <laughs> yeah. the conductor is the fucking That's producer. That's what we do. And this was like, I like, dude, like, we just don't do it live. And bro. then, all, and then also the, the 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 like the whole concept of like him using like the the conducting stick and like doing certain like, bro, I I'm just trying to figure out the translation in that because you won't, he, uh, I can't, I, I I'm not able to, bro. Unless you go that, to school for you, I don't think you will. That shit is, 
impressive. Nah, bro, he was doing magic. That okay, that looks like it is. That's magic, bro. He was doing magic. That shit was casting uh, spells and shit to make certain sections play. And you know, and, and I feel like, and I feel like a lot of times I thought like all that like, I thought all that like uh, that waving like your hand and stuff. I thought a lot of that stuff was very. I mean, it is it, like he is he is creating some sort of language. There's a language happening, but it was amazing to me how. He was able to like innovate on the fly, like he wasn't stuck because he was reading off of the music. But when he when he was doing some sort of like uh test with like the orchestra, and he was like, he wasn't he wasn't going off the script. He was just like doing something, and and he was just like making people do certain things because everyone was just, type shit. Huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, some shit like that. And I'm like, bro, like this is some. Yeah. Like, Let me hear snare roll. <laughs> bro, I was like, dude, when's the, where's the drop, bro? Like, where's the drop section, dude? What is, uh, honestly, uh, well, honestly, I just wanted to talk about that real quick because I thought that was real impressive. Like, the conductors are just... That's that's real life producing. Like, holy shit. That's real life. That's like... Fuck, man. That's music production. Real life. You mastered... Like, goddamn, dude. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just like over uh, over hyping this shit, but no, nah, that's just dope as fuck. No, nah, dude, like, like conducting. Uh, but like, can they do make EDM music? I, that's what I'm trying to say, bro. Like, <laughs> I was music. just about to say that. Imagine get 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 some people in there uh, yeah. with some synthesizers. Uh, some uh, dude, thirty people with laptops in there. You know, plugins. So. You know, like, dude, it's oh, goddamn, bro. It's just. Oh, right, you play kicks, you play snares. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, I'm gonna need you to hit the rise. You hit the riser. Make sure it's EQ that. Yeah, this. and then it's a, it's a different hi hat in the second drop. So and make sure everyone it. who's playing synths, you guys are having your shit side chain to the fucking uh, snare. And, and dude, kick, bro. Oh man, you know what? I've also uh, when it comes to like creating certain versions for my tracks, you know, I've, you know, I'm gonna try to implement. Those fucking uh, acapella covers, the the boom 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 boom. You know, I'm gonna do like one of those remixes, where I'm not like remixing it like in a doll. Like I'm using like a microphone and I'm mouthing out the instruments. Mm, see. So that way, like it's like a it's like those kinds of it's like that version. I don't know if you ever seen like those kinds of covers from other songs where they're yeah, just I've seen it, I've seen it. yeah. So like I'm just trying to think of other different like versions that maybe like it's not really seen in the EDM uh like space in terms of remixes. Uh yeah you know like I've I've saw I think I've talked to you about this too like wanting to do like also remixes of like uh like lo-fi or like slow reverb you know just like tapping into those markets like how you see on YouTube the the whole sped up version uh market is ridiculous like I I've been seeing a lot of people TikTok bro going going across labels and labels wanting people that have their demos come with a sped up version because. And I, yeah, I, you already know, dude. Like they they want that. Uh, it's it, it. You should. I think you should definitely uh have all the variety of different versions of your tracks. Like if we're gonna uh, now that we're talking about this, I think as a producer, I think you should. If you're making a track that has vocals, like I think you should make it a practice to uh, have a rendered version where it's instrumental, and then you should have a version where it's just straight acapella. Especially if you're gonna get into the scene game. A lot of those music supervisors are asking for all various versions because you never know if they need a scene or they need a soundtrack in a scene where they don't want... They like your track, but they don't want the vocal version. They want the instrumental. And uh, you'd be surprised, like, how... Especially, like, the, like in my experience, like, releasing some music, too, that's, like, instrumental or, like, other remixes. Like, you'd be surprised just, like, what version a lot of people, like, attach to. And then it all just goes back to, like, the original track. Um yeah, no, for sure. I want to start doing a, a lot, a lot more versions of my tracks. Uh, sped up, like that's like one, uh, one version type that has been trending, uh, recently with with the help of TikTok. Sped up, slow down. I mean, not really as much as sped up uh, lately, but slow down and reverb was one of those, uh, versions. What I'm other versions? Like what other song version? Like we're talking about song versions. What other song versions have you seen? That Spanish version. Spanish, okay, yeah, that's acoustic nice. version. Acoustic versions, um, yeah, acoustic versions. DMB in Espanol, bro. DMB in yeah. Espanol. Uh, yeah. tiempo de mi vida. 
That's how you say shit. Oh, my life. damn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. No, bro. The Spanish mix. The Spanish mix. Oh, bro. You got to do it. That'd be so good. Damn. That'd be so good. Okay, so, uh, so, the only, so, the only, no, so the only way I would definitely be able to do that is if I could get some AI sort of generated. AI software to translate those vocals. You can do it. I, I think it's possible. Spanish mix. No, dude, honestly. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hey, you know what's interesting? That like you bring that shit up because especially when it comes to like interacting like with my with my listeners, especially on SoundCloud, I've noticed some comments I get are like in a different language. I'll use Google and Translate. I'll respond in their language, bro. <laughs> like I don't neglect those comments uh, or like those kinds of activities. Like if it's in a different language, I'll use Google Translate and I'll like, uh, I'll be like, oh, in whatever language, and like I, I, I don't know, I, I don't know if you uh, gotten any like like different language, like especially on SoundCloud on comments. I don't know if you ever had any other people like comment on their language, but like I don't understand what they're commenting. But I'll just use Google Translate, and I'll just like yeah, I did it. Okay. Yeah, so I'll like I'll, I'll like I'm starting to like because that I shit. I'll comment back in their language. Bro. No, but I'll comment like I'll, I'll I've been starting to do that, like commenting back in. The, I'm not, obviously I'm not. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm using Google Translate to. Cause yeah, I think it's very important that you're making an effort to like co- make the communication. Like uh, I think it's cool, um, and I think it's cool that you bring that up, like that Spanish mix. Cause they they could be that, you know, because the words aren't it, aren't in Spanish, they just aren't able to latch. They're not able to understand because when you when you're an English listener and like we're, we're now we're getting into like the top, my name EP right time of my life coming out June twenty second. Uh, translation Tiempo de mi vida Tiempo Yeah El tiempo de mi vida <laughs> EP El tiempo de mi el vida El tiempo de mi vida EP uh, Out <laughs> on Sony Music Latin Sony Latin <laughs> Sony Latin uh, Out on Telemundo uh, Out on Universal uh, Universal Mexico Whatever <laughs> um, But anyways No I, Dude I think that's uh, Well That's one of the reasons why uh, Like that YouTuber uh, Mr. Beast Does a lot of his videos In all other languages oh, yeah, true. Uh, I mean, he's 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 given that proof that that sh- he said that that should helped him out grow that fucking fan base that he's had on YouTube. So uh, it it doesn't hurt to have a version like that, I guess I would say. And going back to the scene game, like just having all those various versions, especially when uh you're trying to get those placements, uh, and they pay too. Like, and the the people that get those placements are the ones that have those versions uh available. You don't have to make all those versions public. But definitely have them available to you in the event that you find an opportunity where uh, you could benefit from it. Uh, you, you know, it's just real, it's real cool. Uh, Use it as promotional tools, if anything. Yeah. Like, that's, a, that's what I see, like, a lot of people use, like, those versions for. So, like, they'll have the uh, original version coming out. And they, you don't want to keep playing the original version over and over again before it's even out. So they'll play the sped up. They'll make content to the sped up version, or they'll make content to the slow down version before the actual track drops. Mm-hmm. So that when the actual track drops, it's not the same as everything that they've been posting. So like, mm-hmm. uh, or they'll have the instrumental version. Cause I even did that. Put a clip up with the track at the end of the day, but there was no vocals on it. It was just the instrumental version. Mm-hmm. So it was a cool little way to promote the track without like. Hitting people over the head. With the or, yeah, like, not fully exposing, like, the vocals, yeah. Yes. But you're giving them, like, a taste. Yeah, and a lot of people like that version, too, though, so it's, like, it's crazy. And, but, like, it's cool to just have a little, a lot of different versions just so, like, you could use them, like, for your benefit, you know? Not just, like, they're, they're good tools, I think, mm-hmm. to have, for sure. For sure, for sure. So, real quick, or not even real quick, I was talking about last night. June 10, Yo's Theater with Jaws, Low End Skybox Takeover. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good night. Yeah. How'd you like it, bro? I had fun. How, how was it? Um, White Rabbit Group. White back, Rabbit Group uh, was back in back town. Back at the Yo's. Back at the Yo's. Jaws. Yeah, yeah. It was real great to see uh, the OG group back. Uh, saw a lot of the promoters from back in the day pull up. Uh, real nice to see a lot of our peeps from Low End. Uh, Pull up, support us. Shout out to the supporting crew uh, that did their thing at the Skybox. Uh, for those that know what the Skybox is at the Yost, it's an upstairs uh, VIP kind of stage uh, where it goes on the second floor in the Yost Theater. 
And we were up there from 9 to 12.45, just playing some music. Uh, and we had some real, we have a real dope supporting lineup. Uh, and then main stage, we had, obviously, Jaws, uh, that threw down. Uh, you know, quite, quite an adventure his set was uh, with Bro. Jaws. He was playing a lot of throwbacks, but he also was playing a lot of new shit, new stuff, too. Yeah, he, he, he had played a lot of new music. But he was like, yeah, I have, a, I have this new track with... Kazo, I think he had premiered like a new ID with Kazo. Uh, I thought it was cool, and um, it was a fun show. It was a fun show. It got packed the fuck out, bro. No, <laughs> packed the fuck out. Oh yeah, bro. No, I mean, you know what? You know what's crazy too. They they could be back. They could be back because it was good. You know, I, I thought it was a good night. And, 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 if, night, it was, and if it was a good night, I I can't see why they wouldn't be back. I think which I'm are, which I'm looking I forward think it's to. The start of a of a new era there, bro. Yeah, I really I'm looking. Think so. Bro, that whole downtown area too is so fucking lit. Downtown Santa Ana, bro. like by the Yost Theater. Yeah, so let's talk about lit. that. So artistic, bro. Like it, it's like someone like hit that town with like a fucking paintbrush, dog, and like <laughs> I don't know. I really like it. It's a nice vibe out there, bro. Well, I mean, yeah, it's a nice vibe. It's a nice vibe. Some shit happens out there, right? But where doesn't shit happen at? But well, I love how they have that uh, that tech deck uh, store right in front of the Yost Theater. Yeah. They set out uh like these like little mini toy ramps, like a little like skating course for like tech decks and uh and these tech decks are actual tech decks, right? They're like the actual like size tech decks. None of that like middle school or like. Type shit. These are actual official professional fingerboards. There you go. Fingerboards. Uh, and I thought those were interesting. Yeah, downtown Santa Ana. Uh, they have a lot of spots to eat. Uh, you got some pizza there. Uh, yeah, Lucy's Pizza. Yeah. That, that, honestly, like I was, I, I should okay. Oh shit. <laughs> God damn. So hear me out. Bro. I should just got a one. <laughs> just hear no, no. Just hear me out. Just okay. hear me out. Right. I like pineapple on pizza. Shut the fuck up. All right. I'm an actual pizza connoisseur. I'm not just some weekend eating pizza person like you are. You feel me? Like, I actually, like, enjoy good pizza. That's why I enjoy pineapple on pizza. Yeah, I enjoy bad Anyways, pizza. Uh, <laughs> they just, like, put too much pineapple on pizza. Like, they didn't cut it into small, like, little cube things or whatever, triangle-shaped pyramid shape things right it was just like a half circle like slice you feel me oh shit Ugh. and yeah so I I was like, just, oh, it bro. was good like it, the pizza itself wasn't bad but that was just like too much pineapple for one area i guess i don't know i just wasn't used to it which i was like okay <laughs> this is not the best but it, just the pizza alone was all right it was like a new york style pizza for sure but if I had to rate it on a scale to one to ten, he <laughs> said if I had to rate it, oh man, I'm not sure if this is sounding good. He <laughs> also said if I had to nah, rate it. Nah, okay, look, they're next to the to the Yost, bro. Okay, let's consider I'm that. I'm trying. If you don't get pineapple, okay, okay. So did you, did you have just straight pineapple? Yeah. Pineapple. But if you didn't get pineapple on it, I'd give it. Maybe a seven, maybe. Maybe Close a seven. Two. Okay. Six point five. Would you get it again? Would, would, does yeah. that mean would you get it again? Yeah, I'd okay. get it again. Would it be my first option? Second option? Third option? Fourth? Who knows? Fifth? <laughs> Who knows? Six? Uh, no. But <laughs> I still go back. Mm. And I will go back. It's like a Denny situation. Mm, you feel okay. me? Like, <laughs> oh, word. Well, god damn it. It's yeah. there. Yeah, it's there. I mean, it's pizza. <laughs> okay, this is a good. I'm this is a decent analogy. No, I'm not even going to say I'm it. pissed, man. I remember the last time I we went to Denny's, me and my friend went to Denny's. We sat down. It was like 2 a.m. We were That's where you fucked up. <sighs> Yeah, I found out later. Uh, I think we're, like, the only ones there. And there was, like, three waiters, like, just, like, messing around, like, not really doing shit. And they gave us two waters, gave us the menus. 
I'll come back in two minutes. Uh, see if you guys are ready to order, right? And uh, you know, we're waiting to order, waiting to order. Five minutes pass, no one comes. Waiting to order, no one comes. Waiting to order, no one comes. Fifteen twenty. Like, it seems like no one's in this Denny's, bro. Like, it, like, bro, I'm looking around, like. There's literally no like it seems like everyone just like went out real quick for like a smoke break. Like I literally don't like me and my friend were like, what the fuck is everybody? And it was like 30 minutes past, bro. And like we just see one person like just walking and like this is the same person that said, I'll be back in five minutes to take your order. And like and we're high. Like me and my friend are high. So we're not we're like we're chilling. Like we're we're chilling. We're we're vibing, right? We're chilling for at 30 minutes at a Denny's? Uh okay, not like, continuous. You know, I mean, story. I mean, we're just, I mean, we're having a good conversation. <laughs> I mean, we were high and uh, and then, but we were, and I was, and we realized, like, yeah, they're taking way too, cause we're like, yeah, like they're probably just like something going on, but they're definitely not busy, cause we're like the only ones. But something's going on, and we're getting sketched out, and then thirty minutes pass by, and we're like, they never, they don't go back to us. Anyways, I'm not trying to drag this. They never got to us, and we just dipped, bro. So, like, we literally were just waiting to, like, order. Like, we already knew we wanted to order, and, like, I guess we just never ended up going up. Like, we didn't want to go up to them and, like, look rude and, like, or I don't know. Like, I didn't want to have any kind of confrontation at 2 a.m. like that. I was like, nah, I'm out. I mean, that like, combo fuck, was- bro, they just, they just wasted 30 minutes of your precious life, dog, that you'll never get back. It's, it's a big deal. Uh, I'm over that. Next time I'm you go into the kitchen and you take whatever the fuck you want. Mm. Drink whatever you want. All that shit, bro. That's what I'm doing. I'm pouring myself coffee. I'm doing all that shit, bro. <laughs> if you're not serving me, it's self-serve now and no one's getting the tip. You feel me? Like, no, I... I <laughs> Loki, I, I would get like that. I would definitely get like that. Nah, bro. If there's no one there, if they all just dipped out just to go smoke, then my high ass is going to go over there. And do what y'all not doing. You feel me? Like, this is what y'all get. But, uh, nah, that's that's what that pizza's like. Okay. Going back to the pizza, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like bad, bad sex. It's not bad. It's not great. It's still sex. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. I feel that. I don't know, though, sometimes. <laughs> but... I'm gonna have to try that then. I'm gonna have to try that pizza next time. But uh, so like they just put so okay. So you, I guess like their problem with this pizza though, was just like the 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 sh- the, the way it was shaped or just the the por- like, the amount of pe- the pineapples. The way it was shaped and the amount, which wasn't wasn't it? Okay, pizza was good. Okay, um, I just feel like you made a mistake just ordering a pineapple. Bro, shut pizza, the bro. fuck <laughs> up, dog. No, I didn't. <laughs> we wouldn't be having this conversation if you like said. Nah, I got okay, think about it this way. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> now, look, bro. Now, check this out. Check this out, all right? I could be going harsher right now, bro, but I'm not. You feel me? Look, if I didn't have that pineapple, dog, now I'd have to be rating it solely off of the pizza alone. Now it'd be way hard, harsher on the judging, bro. Because the pineapple's not there no more. Now, bro, you guys have no crutch. Now I'll go back because the, I gave, like, you feel me, like, because mm. I think it's bad because the, the, pineapple. the pineapple pizza. You feel me? So now if I go back next time and it's still shit. Damn. Okay. But I, I, yeah. Then, nah. then maybe the pineapples have a... But bro, I've had some good out. fucking pizza. Okay. All right. Had some good All right so can you... Pizza. Best pizza you think you've ever had, if you can Ro- name it. Rogelio's in fucking Chicago. In Hammond. Am- Hammond, East Indiana. Small or big? Local or like fran- big franchise? I kinda. believe it's local. Those are usually the best pizza. Uh, Their pies. sauce is kind of sweet. Pause. Oh, that sounds pretty good though. I, I, but I don't think I've ever had pizza like it's really good. Uh, and like, they get, it's a square slice. <laughs> oh, like Detroit pizza? Yeah, like square. Oh, I mean, not well, not like Detroit because Detroit they do it like Fuck. in a fucking pan, but. Square pan, but and honestly, like mm. that wasn't supposed to be the pizza I tried there that day, or because usually when I go there to uh, Chicago or like that part where my family's at, mm. uh, East Chicago, but that's technically not in uh, Illinois. That's Indiana, but East Indiana, but like it's on the border of like Chicago. Anyways, uh, I usually go to this place out there called the. Uh, 
pasta hut. Actually, I don't know what it's called. I forgot. But I usually, and when I go out there, I'll, I won't eat pizza anywhere else except that place. But my yeah. for my birthday for Fourth of July, they did like uh, my cousin drove the car for one of the floats or whatever. Basically, there was a band on the back of his truck, and he drove the car. And uh, I was in the passenger seat with him, just chilling for the parade, pretty much, right? And then after, the people who, like, hosted the float or whatever bought pizza for everyone. I was like, you know what? Fuck it, let's do it. And they got it from their favorite pizza place. They got a shitload, and they're like, this is the best pizza there is. And my cousin didn't necessarily like it because of the aspect that it was uh, kind of like a sweeter sauce. But I actually really liked it a lot. You know, like the sweet, like when you think when I when I hear sweeter sauce, I don't know why I think of. I've had this pizza too. I think of Shakey's, because okay. like like I feel like their their sauce has like a twang, like some sort of twang to it, like 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 a. Don't say twang. Like, or, <laughs> like I don't know, like it, it just has like <laughs> I don't know. It's a nice like little zang to it. Can I say zang? No. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Anything with an ang on the end of it, bro. Don't do that. Okay. Um, I don't know. Like when you think when you say sweet sauce, I think of like the Shakey's pizza, like a sweet and soury type of situation. Yeah, it has like a like a nice nice blend. Like I like, like Shakey's pizza. I, I, I was like, uh, I haven't had Shakey's, Shakey's pizza though in we a while. Go Shakey soon, bro. Do get they some, have that lunch a bunch buffet? Some mojos. What do you, you work tomorrow? Morning? Uh, no, I'm not sure, actually. I need to see. I haven't checked my calendar. True, I'm true. not sure. Actually, yeah, I need to check. Hit me yeah. if you want some lunch or something. I I'm need to check. I'm going to check. some tomorrow. True, true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, 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 mean, have you, have you liked Shakey's more? Or have you gotten a Chuck E. Cheese, too? I like Chuck E. Cheese. Bro, I've been more... Plus. I've always liked the... I've always been more of a Shakey's, like, kind of person. Chuck E. Cheese's Chuck pizza Cheese. is not bad, bro. It's pretty decent. That's all I gotta say. I just feel like Shakey's is less mustier than Chuck E. Cheese for some reason. Yeah, you don't want to go to a Chuck E. Cheese in Moreno Valley. Or in a 15-mile <laughs> proximity of where we're at right now. 20-mile <laughs> proximity. What's the worst pizza you've ever had? Call them out. Fuck, Chain-wise. Bro. Call them out. Little Caesars, bro. Little Caesars? Definitely. Oh, it has there. to be some of the Damn, worst pizza I've ever had in my way, life. Bro, why are you... Why are you why bro, it, okay, way? look. If it's that. fresh... No, no. If it's that. fresh, bro, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. But they're not consistent, bro. Like, there was a time where I was getting, like, Little Caesars, like, every now and then, kind of, like, almost, like, every other week or so. Maybe a little more than that, right? Mm. And, bro, sometimes I was just eating straight cardboard, dog. Straight fucking cardboard. Yeah. And, like, it hurt to eat, bro. I was like... Like, no, no sauce. Like, I was tearing no it, sauce. bro. I had to tear Jesus that shit, dog. Like, I'm, not, I'm not lying to you. And that happened more occasion than one, bro. So, like, that really pissed... Like, it pissed me off because I paid for it. Like, that's what pissed me off. Like, I really paid for this bullshit, bro. Like, and, like, it's my lunch. I don't have that much time, bro. Like... Yeah, no, nah, that shit really got me pissed the fuck off sometimes. Like, like, no, you don't, bro, you don't understand. I work very hard, bro, and I only get an hour of lunch off, bro. So I'd get off from work, and I'd have to drive home. That drive is like a 15-minute drive to get to my house, right? But I'd stop somewhere, so it would make it about, like, if hopefully if Little Caesars was quick, in and out, add, like, another five minutes to my fucking stop, right? So by the time I get to my house... 15 minutes, actually. I'm tripping. It takes me 10 minutes to get home. It takes me 5 minutes to get inside of Little Caesars, hopefully, if it's quick, right? I come home. gets me another 10 minutes back. So that's 25 minutes off my lunch, off the back, right? Or just driving and getting to... Ev- just to get my lunch, right? So what? I got fucking... Tw- what? 25... Tw- 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 30, 30 minutes, maybe, of my lunch, fam? 35 minutes, maybe, of lunch, bro? Of me to just... Chill, right? I gotta get in. I gotta watch. I gotta look for something to watch that 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 puts on time, bro. Like, can I say this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> we'll bear back, guys. Hold up. We got it. We got it. <laughs> now this is how I've seen some people. 
Like I took some pre workout, like uh, you know, like during my my lunch, so that like before I eat, I'll take some pre workout, so that adds some time, and then I'll eat, and then you feel me, like by that time I'll have like thirty minutes, maybe twenty five minutes to just enjoy my meal, right? The most fucked up part is trying to bite into a pizza that you think is going to be fire. I just put some tapatio on that bitch. I just put some fucking ranch on that shit. I had wings, bro, so I grabbed some of the sauce from the buffalo wings, put that shit on the slice of pizza, dog, and I'm about to take a bite into this pizza. You take a bite and you taste like a hard cardboard, bro. How pissed off are you, dog? I'm Uh, I'm pissed, for sure. I'm pissed for sure. I'm upset, bro. I'm upset. I'm hella upset. Why, why would Lil Caesar do that? I'm getting like PTSD, that? bro. I'm getting PTSD. Hey, let's have fun. This is not consistent, bro. Not consistent. I think what you got to do is order. Just don't pick up one of those $5, like, been sitting all day type of shit. Got to order your shit fresh. Yeah. I, 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 have you ever tried, like, their app? Yeah, I do yeah, that now. I, I think I that's, that. like... That's the only time I'll do Little Caesars if I do the app because yeah I'm not really trying to deal with especially going getting there and like having to deal with the queue of people that go there like not doing the app like if you're not doing the app then you're at, you may not be getting your shit right away or you may not have the the all the ready it may have already be gone so yeah it's just ordering but let uh, let let's have fun with this pizza shit shall we uh which pizza franchise do you believe can throw the the funnest EDM festival. Papa John? No, I don't know actually. Papa John. Well, I mean, D- Shaq is one of the, Shaq is one of the people in Papa John's. You know. You Papa John's is like low key one of my favorite pizza places. Like underrated. Not Zion Don Zion though. Don sponsored by it's Papa John. Up. No. Oh no. Okay. Okay. So what would you, what which pizza franchise would you wouldn't be my, you wouldn't mind being sponsored by? I Husky sponsored by Domino's. Fuck it, I'm down. I I I'm down to represent Domino's. I'm down. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm not gonna front Robert. I think I'd be down to be sponsored by Little Caesars too. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it, man. I'm going that one in the mall. Sab- Sabro, whatever. What oh, S- S- Sabaro, whatever. Sabaro, yeah. I'm oh, damn. Okay, I'm okay, you, okay. Yeah. I'm sponsored by Sabaro. Hey, yeah. I love the pizza. That yeah, shit's fire. Going I'm going now for damn. sure. Damn. Okay, you get a little curveball right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sponsored by Shaky. <laughs> <laughs> I'd oh shit! I was sponsored nah, by Shakey's. I don't know if I'd be down for Shakey. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't think Shakey's would have. Well, going back to the whole festival thing, uh, I don't think Shakey's would have the bud- a, a good budget for a fucking festival. No, yeah, no. sponsor us in Herald money or what? In Herald money. <laughs> <laughs> true, oh, bro. True. You know, uh, it was real cool to see, like in the earlier years. I mean, you start, you still see it too but i remember in the earlier years at music festivals as specifically socal i remember brands like seven up having a stage I i'd be remember. down to be sponsored by seven up remember our, our first heart tumor that we went to remember like uh people they were giving out like those seven up like green lit wristbands and there used to be like a seven up uh stage um they still do that yeah it's no yeah yeah it's just Companies different brands now yeah. yeah like like uh notice in the live streams of EC Mexico, they don't have a seven up stage. They got a Dos X stage, bro. That's lit. That's fucking lit. That's what's up. I do Dos Beckys any day. Dos Beckys any day. Yeah, you already know, bro. All right, speaking about stages, fam, you brought this up to me earlier. Let's get into it. Pause. This kind of shocks me. I don't know what to think about it. Dastic. Tell me what's going on. So that's it through a show uh June 9th, uh I think in the LA area. And uh, there was a clip and we're show- canceling LA. LA's canceled, bro. She was packed, bro. LA's the canceled. clip the clip shows uh hey, but you know what was- Did they know it was that stick? So here's my theory. It was either a person that obviously knows the climate of our, our space and clearly doesn't give a fuck. Or two the that sick team uh got to an owner that uh doesn't know about the climate of the space and although there was attempts of people online calling this uh business telling it to cancel like this person this owner still 
you know, obviously still proceeded with it because it happened. There was clips of people that pulled up and it looked packed, right? Uh, yeah, that's it through a Datsik and Friends show. And people pulled up. Uh, and he was trying to, and it's crazy because the marketing for this, he was trying to keep it discreet. He had posted a flyer on his Instagram when it was shared by EDM platforms that I guess, because it, it was first canceled by Avalon. Okay. The, yeah. Also, they, it was that one that. Yeah, yeah. So, the, yeah, okay. So, he so, ended so, up finding yeah, a venue for it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because, because, oh, yeah, wow. yeah, exactly. So, let me backtrace a little bit because. A Dastic show was already happening. At, I think it was Avalon. I thought that shit was fake. It was fucking real as fuck. And, you know, the, the community was calling Avalon. So, okay, wait, wait. Like, uh, oh, with that story, right? What, what you were saying? It was a straight Dastic show. He's headlining, yeah. He's headlining, bro. Yeah, it, the show was labeled, like, Dastic. And special guests. And special guests, bro. I mean, I didn't see... I, so you're a piece of shit if you showed up? No. Here's my... Here's another question. The climate of how people perceive dance music on Twitter... A lot of times doesn't translate in certain areas of dance music in real life. You feel me? Because I look at that clip, I'm like, dude, like... Who are the supporting artists? I, I, that's something I still uh, I'm not able to find I I, I haven't dig, dig too much into it but um, the, here's my question right the people that attended, they have to know right they've had to know all, all everything like like if you're in dance music like even if you weren't really like an active person like like doing your research on this like there's some sort of there had to have been some okay. sort of like like campaign where you came across like something like this, you know. My question is, how transparent is this? Uh, these DAX like, you know allegations to, to the to to real life uh to the real life market. That's, I don't think you know it's that saying? known, bro. Cause look, like, it's just because all the outbursts and all the conversations being held is on Twitter primarily. And my question is, the tra- how, how like the translation in the real life market like you know because we see the outburst. I think he's just been you know? canceled so long, and that cancellation happened so long ago, that people just forgot and like there's been a new wave of people coming in, right? I uh, no yeah true. And those there's people already... have no idea, and they see his logo don't know have don't have no idea, but they have maybe some resemblance of what Dastic is right. So they're going, but they don't know the whole thing of the allegations that happened. For sure. So I think because that's like just that Twitter thing, and mm. after like everyone's an uproar in it on Twitter, it kind of it's over with you. Yeah, because obviously, like through certain weeks and certain phases, there's 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 something else taking and the hot seat, even right? Even if he like has a new logo or something, like you you'll never remember really or whatever the case may be. But like it's easy to fall into that because I posted like some fucking uh, quote. Like, it was some EDM quote, like, about, um, I don't know, be the person, like, you want to see or whatever. Like, if you if you don't see a happy person, be a happy person or whatever the case may be. And then had, like, a little logo symbol underneath it, right? Bro, it turns out it was a bass nectar fucking uh, logo underneath it. Because someone DM'd me and they're like, you know that's a bass ne- uh, uh, nectar logo? I was like, really? She was like, yeah, look at it. And I was like. Oh fuck! Like I oh, have no idea. Oh, but bro. like, but okay. But now going back to the base nectar talk, the you're referring to like the allegations of base nectar, right? And you're like, oh shit! Like you you don't want to associate yourself with something like that. Obviously, nah, right? for sure. But 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 this but like but supporting on what's going on, what 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 genuinely happened? Like you didn't know, you know, it was like like some people might have been like, oh, bro, like, I don't even support base nectar like that. Right. To me, to even know what his logo looks like. Or 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 not, or not only that, so even to even know that was his logo to correlate it. To even know that shit was about anything EDM. I just seen the quote. You feel me? Or or, or to even know there's certain allegations happening with an artist. Well, I knew there was allegations. Oh, okay. Saying. But like I'm saying, he's not an artist I look into. So I'm not gonna, bro. Like, it's not my job to look into, like this scene. Everyone's like, how, like you feel, like how am I supposed to know if who has alleg? Gations getting into a scene, bro. Like, is that my job to find out? Like, like, or you know, like, how am I supposed to know? Like, you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. when I, like, when I start, when I find something, right? Like a good song on SoundCloud, I like it and I put it in my likes. 
do I then have to search that artist, search their name on Google, and make sure they're clean? Mm, like, like a background I, check, huh? Yeah, do I have to do that for every artist I like, for every song that I like on SoundCloud? You feel me? You feel what I'm feel, saying? Yeah, like, no, I get what you're saying. Like, 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 do we now have to, like, when it comes to us supporting artists, do we now have to worry about what others think? And now we need to be doing these thorough background checks on artists because, like, yeah, it's kind of like the, the same, like, like, you know, oh, like, because you are supporting their art, but they've done this shit, like, you must, all, you must just, you, should, you must also just should support their, like, whole agenda in general. Like, and that's not the case. Like, that's definitely not the case. Like, right. Whatsoever, you feel me? And, it, I mean, I didn't feel like any type of way. I was just like, oh, well, whatever. I took that shit down. But, like, it was crazy. A lot of people were liking that shit. But I was like, whatever. It doesn't matter. I, like, it's for the quote. You feel me? The quote yeah. was cool. Like, I didn't realize the logo was a logo. But it is what it is, right? Uh, But, like, bro, this whole show, like, yep. I don't understand. If- it got canceled. It, yeah, so they had called Avalon and they're and. They, they had managed to had gotten the show canceled because of so many people calling Avalon and saying that it's just not a it's just disrespectful to the scene and Dastic was able to find another venue on June 9th and ended up doing it and there was a there was a clip of a fight uh going going out uh, uh dude I saw a clip of a uh, fucking dude like getting knocked out and he was just like on the ground bro like like it looked like a big liability fucking case, dude. Like up straight right up. Uh, Twitter, I right? think I think I liked it, bro. Let me see if I could just pull it up. But uh, all you gotta do is type in Dastic. I'm pretty sure. But no, dude. Honestly, you know what's interesting? No, actually, not interesting. Not surprising. Not that many girls in these clips. Bunch of dudes. Surprising. Bunch of dudes. That's not surprising. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe I can't find it. No, but well, as I look for this in the next minute, uh, cover me, shit. <laughs> uh, n- nah, bro, like, okay. I just, you just got to think about, like, and, and this is something I think about, too. Like, do do you believe, like, everyone should have a platform? Because if that's the case, then, like, we kind of got to let it happen. And then, like, put everyone on, bl- like, if you're going to do it, do it in the open. So now you know who to disassociate from. Now you know who to, like, categorize as in, like, not great people or whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. right? Like, now you know how to divide from what, you feel me? Now you're able to, like, separate the people from, you know, just, just separation or, like, being able to, like, identify the wrong shit, you feel me? Like, I, yeah, I don't know, like... Are we supposed to not let people make a living anymore off of something because they did something wrong? Look, all I'm saying, uh, look, all I'm going to say, say he is, did something uh, wrong, right? Like, all that happened, right? He got canceled. That means if he got canceled, that means he did something wrong. That means he got charged for it already. And fuck, yeah, I don't know. Or maybe he's. He- I don't know what happened. So, like, directly with that whole situation. So, like, I can't even... Shit, I don't know. I don't know. Like, do you let someone like that profit ever again, or...? The thing is that the people that don't want to support him will not support him. But, unfortunately, there's still a fan base out there. Uh, this is that whole, like, Ted Bundy type shit? Uh, how there is, like, a following that just, like, supports, like, all that motive that that person did type shit. Like, like girls, like, want to fuck him because, like... He is, like, fucking... I mean... Killer type shit. Is this that? Or do we have the right to intervene in those person's decisions to get like you know? Okay, let's get into this. Like in that, you know, I don't, I don't know, know but I don't, I don't know how to play this situation. I just think it's stupid as fuck. Like that's crazy. Oh look, 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 well, look. Uh, this show, like I, I always like to think about who's running the show. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I'm like, okay, like this person just disassociate. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. now we disassociate with whoever that venue decided like to go through with, like. Whoever was promoting that show, like you just disassociate. Whoever was on that lineup, you disassociate, bro. Like, but look, the thing is, the person if the person that threw this show is not necessarily active in the scene, he's just like a club owner. Does does that disassociation even like, like, uh, obviously, like they're not they're not gonna associate with this person, but like, what if this person is like a club owner that that doesn't really care about the scene, like? 
That's the really damaging. That's, bro, I don't think it's damaging just because, like, that means that person's no longer in our space. That's not our space anymore. You feel me? That's not up to for us to to talk about. Like, he's not in the EDM space anymore, bro. Like, if you think he's not playing at any of the clubs that are are impacting us, he's playing at these raunchy third party like style places, bro. Like, you, you you've seen these type of places, bro. Like that's what these are. I think that's where he has to resolve to now. People just making a quick buck off his name. I think that's what. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's what it is. I think that's what's going on, and I think we're probably gonna see it more. Uh, but I think we're gonna see stuff like this. People try it, but it's not gonna go anywhere. I don't think this is gonna go anywhere. They're gonna tr- they're gonna try to attempt to do other shows in other no, areas. No, for sure, but it's not gonna go anywhere, bro. Like I guarantee you, like people are gonna see like what it is. Like it's not gonna be a vibe, bro. Like. It's not that. Like, if there's too much negative energy around it for it to even, like, be somewhat of a vibe. Like, it's it's not it. Like, that's just what we got to think about. Like, it's just mm-hmm. not going to be it. Like, there's too many people that are trying to cancel it and trying to, like, not let it go through. Like, you said it wasn't able to go through at the Avalon. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, that would have been different, you feel me, than it being... If anything, it was probably a secret location, right, until, like, the couple of days before or some bullshit. You feel me? So, like... It would have been a it would have been a certain impact if it would have happened at Avalon though, right? Or at the Academy or something. Oh yeah, or some look at Academy. Like yeah, but it didn't. You feel me? So you just gotta look at shit like that now, you feel me? So fuck him. I don't know. That's all I gotta say, bro. Like that's literally all I gotta say about it. Fuck him. And disassociate from anyone who fucking supported it. You feel me? Like if you've seen someone who went I mean, like, but uh, I know some people just went for the curiosity factor. Like, bro, do Bill we, Cosby's going to go we, back on do tour. Do we judge? Like, okay, like, do you believe in EDM journalists? Do we judge journalists for, uh, like, journalists? going to, like, do we do we judge reporters that, that attend these kinds of events? Do we give certain kinds of, like, like? do you feel like there needs to be some sort of, like, coverage, like, coverage nah, on this? Sure. Like, like do you, do, you, do you feel like there should be people... Uh, I don't I don't I don't feel right saying it doesn't feel right saying this but like do you, do you think there should there should be some sort of people some sort of a person going there to, like reporting like actually seeing like you know how like journalists journalists go into like the actual like countries and seeing like what's going on like attendees are, the, are a lot of journalists nowadays bro what word word like that's all it is that's what what we're into right now everyone's a reporter everyone's a journalist right now you feel me so People going there, we're gonna be able to, bro. Like you said, you saw clips of someone getting knocked the fuck out there. Like, we're gonna see shit. You feel me? Like, it's hard to keep something suppressed like that. And if it is being suppressed like that, that means it's not propagated, bro. Like, that means they're not trying to show you what actually happened there. Mm-hmm. And that's not a good thing. Mm-hmm. If you want something to pop, you want to see everyone. You want to show everyone what the fuck's going on. Right. You feel me? Like, other than that, then it's like I said. I think we shouldn't worry about it too much. Just talk about the negatives of it and just... Let, I'm telling you, it's not going to be a thing, bro. It's really not. I, just, I don't see it being a thing. Dude, honestly, I don't think anyone's, like, worried on him. <laughs> like in There's the too much good shit going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, like, it's just, like... For it to be, like, let's go check out that. Like, who gives a fuck, bro? Yeah, who and... Who gives a flying fuck about Dastic? No one. Well, I don't know, maybe, but I'm saying no one. <coughs> I'm standing on that shit. But, like, no one mm. gives a flying fuck, bro. No one gives a flying fuck. Shout out to fucking the homegirl Skittles, though, on her show coming up on the 20... 20- oh, with Space Shot for Cod Dubs. Yeah. yeah they got the six decks, bro. Hell oh, yeah, shit. bro. See, that's the shit we got to get excited for, bro. Like, the fucking... The, the new one. The people in now, dog. Now, dog. It's going to be lit. God damn, bro. Six decks. She's dipping out on us, too, bro. She says late to fucking... That's going to be her last show out here, apparently. Yeah, yeah. She's going to Denver. Moving to Denver. Yeah, bro, the base capital. I think, like, bro, that's really exciting. That's really dope. Mm. That's really fucking dope. Skittles in Denver, dog. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that's like, bro. yeah, that's dangerous, dog. She's about to show out out there, bro. She's about to show these motherfuckers what base mean, dog. Like, that's what's about to happen. Excited. Her and I think Hex is gonna be out there too. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, that's crazy. They better represent Cali, dog. Southern Cali. Yeah, to they be get specific. shot. Like, yeah, shout out to those ladies in in the scene. Oh yeah, bro, excited for them. Hardworking. Yeah. We're going to go see the mess space. Or, well, Hex just played her show at Space Out, which is 
It looked pretty dope. I wasn't out there, but I seen like clips and pictures and shit. That's really fucking dope, bro. Like, bro, we had them in here and shit, and now they're off uh-huh. and shit, like in Space Yard and all this crap. Like, that's fucking lit as fuck. Yeah, bro. that's lit as fuck, bro. Yeah, crazy. We 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 touching the underground, dog. We touching the underground. <laughs> that's fucking crazy, bro. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But yeah, dog. We got other cool shit going on in bass music. Yeah, dude. Yeah, bro. I'm excited to release this bass music EP. Time of my life, June 22nd. Four tracks. Uh, I talked about. Well, I gotta not gonna post too much, but uh, yeah, track track it. titles, track titles. Uh, new ones like this. Time of my life. I can't believe this. And uh, and it's with a re-release too. I've got that power. Uh, I'm premiering like this on June 15, exclusively on SoundCloud. Check free download. I said that shit. Free download. So you could get the free download of Like This and the full EP drops on the 22nd. So make sure to uh, start waiting in line on SoundCloud because it drops uh, 12 p.m. on 12 p.m. Pacific, June 15, Like This. And June 22nd drops everywhere. Time of my life EP. I'm excited. Uh, and I'm going to be bro. doing a remix EP for that too. Uh, and who knows? I might be doing some VIPs of some of those tracks as well. Uh, I've been feeling I've been feeling a little frenzy these days. So, bro, whenever you want, send me over those stamps for time in my life. They're um, gonna be ready. They're gonna be available. Um, um, some one fifteen shit, bro. One fifteen shit. I'm gonna try to hit that shit. I think that's those lower that's nice. BPMs. Where I think that's where I'm gonna try to like stick in, even with bass music. Like I kind of like that the track I showed you. Like I was able to incorporate some bass shit, and it was like one twenty ish. So, like, uh huh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stay there now. I think I'm gonna stay there. Yeah, send me. Oh, dude, you got mini meters. It's going up. <laughs> it's going up, bro. It's like we're done. It's a wrap. Yeah, yeah, dude. Uh, you didn't know this, but as you were talking, I, I bought mini mini meters. For, like, <laughs> you already bought it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I already had. I was, I was already installing on my computer. <laughs> it's only ten bucks, dog. Everybody got to go get that shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, bro. It's literally uh, an hour of work. Not even an hour of work, bro. SoCal, 15, minimum fifteen. Bro, no, I literally just. With that fucking plugin, cut out like two hours. Of Damn! My now you got me real interested, bro. Because I'm used to like exporting out and dragging oh, over. Oh no! Okay, now I just I cut see. that process out. I don't Damn. have to go through that process no more. Mm. You feel me? So. Damn. It's lit, dog. It's lit. That not that means I got more time to. Prove. to yeah, just do shit. Just do shit. But uh, off your fucking EP, uh. Got, got some tracks coming out soon. Got the fucking Rockstar Flip coming out. Or edit. Whatever the... I don't know what to call it. Mm. Rockstar by your boy. It was going to be a, a remix originally or a collab originally. But then me and me and Kramix ended up doing some other shit. So, like, uh, I'm working towards the EP this year, guys. By the end of the year, I'll have an EP. Uh, I got two tracks ready, done, solid, solidified. Not really. One of them still needs a little work, but for the most part, they're conceptualized. I got one more track coming. It's either going to be an intro or outro, so that that's really dope. I got to make something like that. Like, I don't know. It's going to be... It's either going to be a very dramatic outro or a very, like, uh, interlude type intro. Does that make mm, sense? Okay. You feel me? Like... I don't know. I want to make like an interlude type track. You feel me? You know, on the drive back uh, home from the show, <clears throat> uh, you had mentioned uh, we got a coda. <laughs> I'll try. I I want to try to implement codas uh, in future productions because yeah, I think just being able to add something that kind of comes uh, out of nowhere, uh, like a curveball. Uh, well, if you guys don't know what a coda is, like look it up. It's like a different. It's like it almost. It's it's, when the it's track pretty much keys. Yeah, there you go. It, it just switches up. It almost seems like you're in a different track, but it's the same yeah. track. But it's just yeah, like I said, the keys have switched up. Uh, it could be it slowed down too, like or it goes into like a slow down or sped up tempo. Uh, yeah. So may, maybe you might be hearing some codas very soon. And uh, I like that you mentioned interludes because I was thinking about like. With the EP, if I wanted to do like, I didn't end up doing it for the time of my life EP, but like for future EPs, like yeah, like like uh, interlude or uh, like in between like singles or not yeah. even interludes or even like you know how in hip hop albums they sometimes do skits in between, like yeah, just like stuff like that to 
amplify uh, what the message that you're trying to uh, deliver with the CP, you know? Yeah, like, I, I, the way I was even thinking about an interlude could be, like, just one drop. Like, you know, like, just one lead to a drop, and that's it. Like, mm-hmm. that could be... Or, yeah, or, like, or just like you said, just just the drop. It could just be the drop. And then it's just, like... As long as it, like, gives direction into, like, what that EP is going to be, I think that's, like, a good... Like, that's it. That's all... As long as it flows, I think, you know, like, into the project. Like, that's what I'm really, like... um focused on with this EP is making sure like I can make a body like flow together mm. you know a body of work that's really just together and like I bro I'm, like I've been repeat like I thought I had four tracks done for this EP already so I didn't I did not what's yeah right four right? tracks but not, not for, for the EP yeah not for the EP what's that's right? I, I, that's like the, what I was coming across with this this recent EP but after like it just it's it's a process bro like creating a body work like that it's a real life process of like look, getting out some work and then like really understanding where you want to go with the project like artistically and like what you're feeling and whatnot you know like mm-hmm. that that really is gonna dictate how you want the album to sound you know and like after bro I think after I'm done with the tracks like I'd say within by the end of this month I should have all the tracks done you feel me like completely mm. done and then for the next couple months i'm gonna be working on like trying to find a video animator artwork right. all that shit like that's what i'm gonna be working on the next few months like nice. from here on out and like uh if anyone if anyone's good at video animation like actual like almost like storyboard type work like hit me up because that's what, that's what i want to do right now that's the idea of like what i want to go into i'll probably get hit up like go to uh what is it called? Fiber? Right. Yeah, there's a bunch of people that uh, are on there that are uh, that got portfolios that do stuff like that. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm gonna have to do that just because I really want to do something cool and artistic with this shit. Just cause like uh like I told you earlier, like I was submitting to a bunch of uh feedback live streams and I submitted some shit to Space Yacht and they like really fucking s- said some shit that stuck in my head, like and it was kind of like in a sense of like they're like, why are you submitting to us? Like, you feel me? Like, why are you submitting your track to us? Because, like, they're like, we're EDM dance uh, label. You feel me? Like, this isn't really dance music. It's more, like, conceptual, like, uh, expressional music. And I was like, that makes sense. But, like, I also think sometimes when I'm making music, like, I'm, I'm thinking storyboard. Like, for some reason, like, that's always in my head. Storyboard, storyboard. Like, it's, it's just a story playing through sometimes. And, like, uh, now, like, that I that I understand that. Like, I've been starting to see a lot of, like, alternative bands and whatnot. Uh, listening to a lot of that type of music. But then I'll see their music videos on, like, YouTube and stuff. Bro, like, it's some trippy-ass storyboard-type-esque videos and stuff. And I'm just like, that's pretty cool. Like, uh-huh. they're putting the just more to it you feel me and like I, I don't know that's I think that's the direction I'm gonna be going with like music no right. like like I think when you're able to package music like that that's like what makes you understand it's music like like like, like to that's put, the concept like, yeah right? the concept yeah like I think when you're able to really like tell the picture through music and you're able to do it with the sound the visuals I think that's what really makes you so great at telling your your music like being able to like, share your story, like, and you covered all the aspects, like the the sound of it, the the, the visuals, like how you want people to perceive it, like. Um, and now it's just like finding a space for where do you, where you want your music to live, and that's what like I'm starting to realize, like, if I'm just putting out music with artwork, my music's only gonna live on like music streaming platforms. You feel me? And like that's cool. But then if I have a video aspect to it, now it's going to live on, like, music stream, music video streaming platforms and whatnot. You feel mm-hmm. me? So anywhere, like, a visual is going to be at, like, my visual could technically... Like, even though maybe someone not might technically vibe to my song necessarily, they might just fuck with my visuals to my song. Mm-hmm. So maybe I'll see that in other people's shit. You feel me? Like how some people will just get visuals off YouTube and start playing them and whatnot. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm thinking of shit like that. Like, my music, like, you can make your shit more than just an audio track, an audio file, you know? 
Like, you could give mm. it more of an identity, I think. Mm-hmm. So, I think I'm going to go, like, doing shit like... I don't know. I want to do shit like that. It's... I need to learn, like, fucking Blender or something, bro. I need to learn something like that. But it's so... Like, I'm barely learning FL. Like, I feel like I'm barely, like, tiptoeing my way in FL and shit. Like, I, I don't know if I want to add another stressor like that. I'd rather, Damn. like, meet someone and vibe with someone that does it. And then, like, we build some shit. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, no, I think I think it's that. just always better to have someone else that like knows how to do it, and that way you're just spending time on like writing the bangers. <laughs> you're not worried about like yeah, stressing on learning new software and learning all new. And hopefully, codes. like one of those shits will actually blow up and people will like it. You feel me? And we, I can make revenue, and then I can pay homeboy. Like, like I think that's the one thing that like I really want to do. Like, make sure that the like if I make money off of this shit, reinvest it back into like what's making me the money just because like bro like i feel like that's where the shit gets like fucked up like if you don't ever like say i'm it's mine yeah right at the end of the day it's my project it, he helped me with the visuals but i paid him or whatever but like if i'm just making a lot of money and then i'm just like letting him like still giving him the crumbs of whatever i feel like it doesn't work like that like i feel like i'd want that person to be like all right, bro, like, you're going to forever be with... You see how much we made? We, I'm going to give you more now, so let's keep fucking going. And, like, I feel like that's how the partnership, like, would be like with me. Because, I don't know, bro. Like, once once I think something clicks and it's good, I just want to keep going with that shit. And, like, if, if giving this person money is going to make them work even better, also, rad, right, bro, I'm giving you as much as you need, fam, to make your fucking... To make this shit easier type mm-hmm. shit, like... I'm, I'm, we need to get there type shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nah, I don't know. But yeah, that's what I'm working on for the EP. Uh, right now, <laughs> the title of the EP is called The Self-Sabotage EP. Um, who knows? It might change. I might make this next song and then I might get a whole concept like in my head of something else. But Because before it was called Heathen's EP, dog. Like I was going to call mm. it Heathen's EP. And then I was like, nah, I'm not going to. I don't know. I started thinking more, I started listening more, and then I made another track, and I was like, nah, I don't know. I don't hey, who I'm knows? Gonna... I might scrap Time of My Life and Bass Nino comes out next week. Hey. There we go. There we go. <laughs> nah, be like Damn, that, bro. Be like nah, that. I'm still shopping that EP yet. True, 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 true. true. Nah, nah. But yeah, other <laughs> than that, I got the Rockstar Flip coming, and then I'm going to drop the uh, the Earthquake and Nico, I think that's the track. Oh, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna drop that remix. I'm gonna make it back to the remix and just drop it like that. Nice. Everyone needs a cool remix. Remix works. Out. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. No, that's why I've been I've been in need of a uh, of a remix in my catalog, which is why I think that Barbie one's coming out after the EP. Hey, did you see Tieso drop the Barbie remix? Did he? Yeah. God damn it! I tried to send it to you, but for some reason it failed sending. So I was like, whatever. Yeah. Hey, I mean, he, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> he knows was what he's good? doing. Was it good? I mean, I don't know. Was it? I didn't hear it. Wow, I guess. I'll, I'll look. I'm going to look into this, bro. I don't Look, I listened to it, and I can't tell you what it sounded like. So I don't know if it was good. Did Mac just recently released a single called Barbie. God damn it. <laughs> just dropped it already, bro. Uh, I'm fucking <laughs> up. Uh, now, fuck this. You know what? I'm dropping the flip before the... Uh, <laughs> uh, no, but that's coming through, dude. That's coming through. Yeah, I'm excited, and I, definitely, you know, uh, I've been th- I've been in like in a single uh uh self release run, but you know for sure like some of my goals later this year, so I'll, I'll hop on a label release or two. For yeah, sure, for sure, for yeah. Sure. yeah. Now like for sure, I'm, I'm like okay, like I'm pretty good now. Like my self releases, I'm gonna like, uh, I think it's time now because I have personally I've not been shopping. Like I'm just been like cool with like self releasing, but yeah, now I'm now I'm just like okay, now I'm. Now I feel comfortable, like, once I make something and, like, okay, now I have, like, a profile that, like, will make it easier, like, to uh, to represent myself, you know, when I send these demos. And I, I understand now, like, what, like, you know, when you send to labels, like, they don't want a single a single release link. They want a unreleased playlist with, yeah, uh, a, with few like, a few options. Yeah, they want, you know, it's, there's, like, things that are, like, they... They don't really tell you, but they, it's like they prefer. You know what it is? Is because I think they don't want to just like get one single from someone and that be it from them. 
Mm. They want to know that their person it has follow ups and stuff like that. Mm. You know, like this isn't just it for them. You know, like they want to know that that person is working, and if we release their track, like they're still gonna be active after you. Know? Yeah, like the labels that I'm I'm talking about, they're looking to in the long run invest. Like they want to see a, a long term partnership. Who, who did you tell me that? Sab Sabre Valley. Sab- oh, Arrow Grime. Oh, that's his label. Sable Valley. Yeah. Sable Valley. There you go. Sable Valley. That's something I really want to get on. So yeah, bad. like uh, like honestly, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't mind like uh, th- that like personally, that's not like a label like uh one of the first labels that comes to my mind that I want to release as a goal. But like, I wouldn't mind having a demo like be accepted by that label because I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, like yeah, yeah. I wouldn't mind like just fuck, yeah. I'm looking at the artists that release on that label and like how they uh release their content. I think is really fucking dope. Mm. And I, like that's how I, I vision my shit. So I think I and like it's I've been doing a lot of research, like I said, a lot of live stream feedbacks, and they've been like giving me feedback on how to like look for labels and stuff. Like definitely look for labels that artists you go to their page and it looks similar to yours. Like make sure like you fit in their image of what they want to be representing, you know? Like that's a big part that like some people overlook, bro. Like I'm sure. Go to their label. Go to the people that release off that label. And then look at all the stuff you post. And is, does your shit relate? You feel me? Because mm-hmm. that's going to be a big indicator whether they choose you or not. Like, a lot. And then your music. Like you said, give them, like, a playlist. No more than six songs. Don't give them more than six songs. No more than six songs. If anything, the, the sweet spot's, like, four, five, maybe. But six yeah. six is the max. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess I, I wouldn't be mad, like, seeing... Yeah, six. I think I'm okay. Six, you're good. You're good, bro. You're good. Six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're cool with six. And if I need more, I'll let you know, dog. Hold on, chill, bro. But uh, no, I'm about definitely six, do like... that. And like, just and look, this is something that, like that we just gotta. It's on us at this point, bro. Like, we just gotta make sure our shits like sounds as clean as possible, bro. Like, that's what mm. these people are looking for. Like, just clean sounding music. Like, that's it. That's they don't it. want to push amateur ass like shit, mediocre no, sounding bro. ass. And like, yeah. yeah, they could play for a mix and master, but they don't want to, bro. Like these labels don't want to. There's people that are that there are, are other sending people them that shit. are sending them shit that's already done. Exactly, bro. So why would they try to like put in more money just eat? like it had to be the most ridiculous banger ever? But even like a, the most ridiculous Facts. bangers don't sound good on mix and master. So, yeah, like, real talk. You're look, now that I'm thinking like, about it, anyways. if I was running a label and like. This shit had a shit mix. But it was a banger. I'm like, damn, you know what? Fuck yeah. Send me the wave. Like, I'll pay for the master mix and mastering. Like, we got to hit, boys. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I feel I'll, that. Damn, true. But yeah, yeah. Like, that's what you got to look out for and whatnot. Uh, but I think what, what I do want to start doing more on here when we ever do, we do, like, uh, episodes like this just by ourselves, we should, like, look into uh, doing, like, feedbacks and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Music and shit. Just maybe the last, like, 30 minutes or, like, I don't know. Yeah, like, 30 minutes or so that gives us enough time for maybe, like, seven, eight tracks or something like that. Mm-hmm. No more than six. Uh... <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't shit, matter. You see? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Call back. I feel you. True. Uh, but, yeah, no, I think that would be cool. Like, just everyone submit tracks to our submission link, I guess, or just... DM us too, like we'll see the DMs. Like it's not even that big of an issue. Like I'm always checking the DMs. Like, yeah. So like, if you want to send us music, send us. And if we're ever doing solo episodes like this, like we'll we'll do some feedback, bro, and we'll we'll get you guys cooking and and going. Don't get me wrong. Like it's not gonna be the best feedback in the world or anything like that. But we could definitely give you guys like the right direction and shit. You know, for sure, for sure. Dope sounds, bro. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Nah, I'm like I don't know, bro. I'm honest as fuck with shit. Like, yeah, you see, when we do those feedback sessions, I think one of us should play the part of like the sim- the, the simple person, and then someone's like the more technical. We we'll are no, we'll see. I get like we'll I said, see. you know what? Improvise, you know. Like, shit. We'll yeah, yeah. It's 2023, goddamn it, shit. <laughs> nah, but people just want like feedback, like how on their shit, bro. And so, and honestly, like a lot. Won't, some people just want promotion on their shit. And yeah. that's what I, feedback streams are, are really good for, bro. Promotion, dog. Like, yeah. Promoting your shit. Yeah, hell yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Many people know. Oh, this- send finished tracks to... Send finished tracks to feedback streams. 
Yeah, they do. Yeah. But like, don't use the promo asset if like they're not like saying good things about yeah. it. Like, like, like the, all they just use it when like, yeah, for sure they're like saying, "Oh, dude, like no feedback. Like this is fucking great." Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't know if you want to say, uh, upload something and they're like, "Yeah, I don't know about this, fam." Unless it's a post where it's like, these fools don't know what they're talking about. Like, yeah, but anyways, no. Usually, I don't think a lot of these people don't know what they're talking about. But, uh, yeah, yeah, dude. So new music coming soon. Uh, for me, time of my life. EP June twenty second, premiering one of my singles like this exclusively on SoundCloud June fifteen with a free download and stems. So you can already start working on your like this remix uh, with the stems before the EP drops. God damn it, June fifteen. So start waiting in line, and you can start pre saving the new EP as well through my link in bio. Uh, Solo dot slash husky base. Fuck oh. it, I'm gonna straddle stems your shit, bro. Fuck it. That's a that's a that's it for, that's, <laughs> it. <laughs> that's it for me, dude. That's hell of it for me. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Good? Check out Husky at uh, everything Husky, bro. At Husky Base. Mm-hmm. At Husky Base, and uh, yeah, check out all my shit that I have coming soon. Gonna be dropping some trap bangers, and then some fucking remixes, and then hopefully the EP. Now I got some other tracks that I might be sprinkling in before the EP, but. That that's my main focus, bro. Like I'm really, fo- I'm definitely not gonna not not drop music, but like I'm really fucking hyped over like being working on something like this. To be honest, like a project. So, yeah, it feels good to say I'm working on like I don't know. It just feels good, and mm. being, I like being able to document it a little bit. Like I took a little bit of footage when Craymex came over to produce. Like I don't know, mm. got a little. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Um, check me out, Zion Don underscore. Pretty much everywhere. And, uh, yeah. Uh, probably next week I'll have a Don Talks coming. So, check me out. Just been a little fucking busy and working on EP. EP mode. The podcast could wait, fam. This EP? Yeah. Please save that shit, god damn it. Or, well, when that shit's available. Or is it available already? Shit, I don't know. No, it's not. Oh, yeah. You've been, you're working on it, so. I'm working on it. I'm working on some. But please save it. Fun music, it fam. Some fucking fun music, bro. So let's go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Follow us on our social media at Lucid Tempo. Uh, just look at all of our stuff. You can find on solo.tu slash Lucid Tempo. If you are watching us on YouTube, uh, you're streaming us on Twitch. You can find the contact on SoundCloud and YouTube. If you're on SoundCloud, we are on YouTube. And if you're on YouTube, we're on SoundCloud. We appreciate you guys on whatever outlet you guys are listening or watching us from. Uh, we love your continued support. Uh, and we'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you all so much and have a great weekend. Peace. Yeah. Totally do. <laughs>